Yeah, diabetes, just like in people, is a disease in um, cats and dogs that is an inappropriate response or production of insulin, making their blood sugar stay high and leading to signs like increased thirst in urination is the most common. It can really cause a myriad of signs, though you can see um, increased appetite. Some patients can get to the point where they get sick and have a decreased appetite. Um, can even show signs of vomiting or even signs of a lower urinary tract infection. The most common ways of diagnosing diabetes are blood tests and urinalysis. The clinical signs are similar between dogs and cats. The one manifestation we can see in dogs that we don't see in cats is the development of cataracts and vision loss secondary to that. Um, that's something that's not documented at all in cats. Uh, the most common treatment we use is insulin for both cats and dogs. Um, but important in addition to that is both diet and exercise in order to get rid of obesity as a complicating factor um, and then diet in order to decrease the stimulation from carbohydrates for a high blood sugar. Um, just like in people, catching the disease early on and initiating therapy is key. It can prevent the complications that we can see from it and even in cats gives us a better chance of getting them to a point where they're in remission and no longer need insulin. As far as quality of life is concerned, dogs and cats can both come in fairly sick when they're initially diagnosed with diabetes. Once they get over that hump and they're on a steady treatment and their blood sugars are well regulated, they can have a good quality of life with resolution of their clinical signs.